to my screencast. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about, um, you may see me using the GNOME desktop version 46. Now, the extensions are broken on GNOME sort of, uh, 46 as uh, my assistant tray is not working. The desktop icons are now they they are actually visible, so that's good. That extension works. Um, so blur my shell. Uh, dash to docs not working. Now, why did I ditch KDE six? Well, first of all, KDE six KDE is a great desktop environment. My gripes with KDE, and it had always been my biggest gripe with KDE, is that well. It's mainly very buggy. All the KDE systems that I set up in the past, the last few years, have been very buggy. KDE is a great system. It's very highly customizable. You have the freedom to change the colors of your default theme, which I like. Um, it has a system tray, which I like. It, you can configure your panels and stuff and do a lot more with the shell, which I like. You can add widgets to the desktop, which is pretty cool. I don't really care for that, but I mean, it's there. It's extra things that you can do with your desktop compared to GNOME. But it's very buggy, especially with Wayland. On NVIDIA graphics, it's pretty bad. I try to deal with it. I mean, you have the glitching, glitchiness is all it's bad enough, but it's just buggy. Like when it comes to consistency with applications, and I know the same thing with GNOME when you run Qt applications, it's not consistent as well. And that is the problem too as well. We have all these different toolkits, we have all these different desktop environments. So when we use one desktop environment, and we use it all, and lot some some applications are, you know, made with. Um, certain two toolkits and they're not consistent to to one another so when you're running an application that's gtk based into a kde system it's not going to be fully compatible or that the application is not going to look exactly how it's supposed to look like and the the, the gui is not consistent with the entire desktop and i know kde has been doing actually pretty good with integrating um applications compared to gnome but Still, I find KDE 6, it needs a lot of improvements. It's very unstable. I, I know people might, might have different opinions, different things, different views, and that's fine. But according to my experience on three different computers, one that's AMD, and the other two are NVIDIA computers. Um, all a AMD processors, so they all use AMD CPUs. But... KDE is a nice desktop, but I'm I'm gonna stick with GNOME because to me GNOME is very it's very snappy, it's stable, it's very stable. And I know with Arch Linux, and also I'm not using Fedora, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I I took off Fedora, and it's not because I, I don't like Fedora. I I I this wasn't I wasn't planning to ditch Arch Linux either. I always test out Fedora every year on their, their release that's coming soon, you know. And I'll probably test it out Fedora 42. Or the, no, 42. 41, I mean. Sorry, my bad. I'm getting way ahead of myself. 41 uh, in the fall. So that's what I do. I just test out um, Fedora for fun, you know. I just like doing it. Um, Cause I just like to see like where Fedora is going out, uh, going, going out, going with, you know, with their system. And uh, I, I'm always interested with Fedora, but I'm an Arch Linux guy. And, and I said this in my previous videos that I use Arch Linux and that's the main system I use. And I, I don't delete Arch Linux. I, I have other hard drives on my, on my computers that I just basically use the, the spare disk as testing ground on other distributions. I could do it all in the virtual machine, but I prefer to do it on the actual hardware because I want to see exactly how the system is working on actual hardware, and that's what I like to do. And I like to just use a desktop for a while and just, you know, play around with it and do my personal thoughts on it and make videos 
on what I think of the current uh, system of Fedora and other distributions that I probably will be testing out in the future. But my main system is Arch Linux. Now, I hadn't been playing around with GNOME 46, but just going back to GNOME Desktop, even though I have a lot of gripes with it, like I'm not, I don't like that they took the system tray out. I don't like that they took the, the desktop icons. I do not like having my dock being uh, like hidden behind the activity menu. I don't like that, but the system works really well. And I do kind of like the workflow of it. I do like how you can switch between, you know, like different desktops. I do like that. They improve a lot since 45. So I, I don't entirely hate GNOME. I think GNOME actually works really well on <laughs> on on Linux. I think it's one of the most stable desktops and I see why it's one of the most defaulted desktop on most distributions. And I know people are not really big GNOME fans. There's some like there's like especially Arch Linux users, they they're all into this Tile Window Manager. I'm not sure if I started this, but I've been using Tile Window ma managers on Arch Linux like probably 10 loving years ago. <laughs> And I used to do a lot of I, uh, awesome window manager uh, writing and stuff like that. And I actually test out a lot of different Tile and window managers on Arch Linux, like DWM, and also um, what else did I play around with? Um, X X Monad, or is that how you say it? Um, I used to play around with that one a lot as well. Um, what else? I used to do open box, flex box, and other stuff. Um, but yes, I really do like using um, GNOME 46. I think it's a great desktop and it works really well. And the Gnomies that likes GNOME probably will like this video. But I, I, I'm not a fan boy on any particular desktop environment. I just want a really cool desktop environment that works really well on GNU Linux. I wish that we had just one desktop, like how like Mac OS has their one desktop, and it's really awesome and everything's consistent among their system. And that's one thing I like about Mac OS. I'm not gonna say I, I, I'm gonna use it, and I think Mac OS is the greatest thing in the world, no. But I do think Mac OS, and, and I'll include Windows as well, they, they focus on just one desktop and, and you know, like it just, it just, I don't know, like to me, I, I, I'll just throw windows out. Like I'm, we'll talk about Mac OS cause Mac OS desktop is pretty nice and it, it's also a really nice looking desktop and it works pretty well. Um, but they only do one desktop and I think that that's, it's, it's smart in that way because when they do applications, every application is made for that system. Um, they always will have the consistent toolkits because they only got one toolkit for the system. I, I do like Linux when it comes to like it. It is has more freedom, has more flexibility, and we have a lot a lot of choices. But sometimes having too much choices, the way I look at it, it's starting to make Linux look like the desktop looks very inconsistent. Like that's what I was saying earlier about the toolkits, how it's being inconsistent among. GTK, KDE, and other toolkits that's probably going to be in the system. I really hope Cosmic Desktop is a pretty cool desktop. I hope Cosmic Desktop is the answer to everything that all the Linux users are looking for because if Cos Cosmic Desktop can make toolkits consistent together, even though they're different toolkits, but they all look the same when you load up an application, that would be nice. Um, but I was being frustrated earlier in my Discord, and like people probably think I'm being an asshole. I just, I'm pretty frustrated because I do love KDE, and and it's not it's not because I'm using NVIDIA desktop. Um, it's pretty bad on even uh, on my AMD desktop. My little mini PC uses an AMD a GPU. Um, and this buggy in some parts, like when I'm pasting stuff to Discord or pasting stuff to other things, it's just very buggy. Um, I, I don't know. I actually personally think GNOME right now to me is the best 
desktop environment for Linux. But I want that to change. I think I think Cosmic Desktop Environment will probably be the next desktop for Linux. And I think that if 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 the Pop OS System Seventy Six team can do this really well, um, I think I think there's a bright future for Linux when it comes to the desktop. I think Pop Cosmic Desktop will probably be something really good. And um. Once they release it, I hope that we can use it on Arch Linux. And if not, I'll probably still test out just Pop! OS with the Cosmic Desktop. Once they have a ISO or something that they can give us that we can, you know, test out the desktop and see how it works. I'm very interested in that. And I want to do videos on the Cosmic Desktop because I'm very interested in Cosmic Desktop. And I've been interested in Cosmic Desktop for since I heard about it. Um, so people might think I, I I hate Pop! OS or I like Pop! OS. I, I, I don't hate Pop! OS. I do like the desktop. I'm not really a big fan of Ubuntu, but at least it's not snap based. So I, I'll give them credit for that. But I, I like Pop! OS. I think it's a great system, but I think that even their GNOME desktop is is pretty well done, pretty good, but they're on a very old, um, you know, kind of like an older uh, system of Ubuntu, and I think that it needs to be updated. Um, so, I don't know. I hope I can see something with Cosmic in the future. Um, but for now, I'm going to be using GNOME 46 and testing that out because I hadn't been playing around with the new GNOME desktop. Not really much I noticed have changed, but it does work a lot better. I noticed that it's very snappy. Maybe I'm just using KDE and just kind of, I don't know. I just, I like, I like GNOME. I think it's a good desktop and I'm going to be using that for a while. And, um, back in Arch Linux and I am done stop using Fedora and I'll probably be making a video on my opinion on the Steam Deck I really like the Steam Deck actually I, I've been playing a lot of games on it um, that's probably why I hadn't been doing videos in a while um, I've, been, I've been playing a lot of games on the Steam Deck but I will tell you one thing I do really love the device a lot but I want to make a video on my like you know full thought on the Steam Deck and what I think about it all together uh, since I since I had it in my hands. <laughs> um, but I'll just say one thing, I do really like it a lot and I have no regrets buying it. I think it's a really great gaming device and it plays games pretty well and the OLED screen is, I'm glad I got it with the OLED screen because it is a whole another gaming experience level of gaming <laughs> it's just a whole nother level yeah pretty much and it works really well and i think it's a good little device um even though it's not as powerful as some gaming handhelds out there right now but i still think the steam deck is the best because it's just the way that it's designed the way it feels just the whole device itself i think is it's very good very good device it's, you can tell that it's been made with a lot of attention to detail and a lot of love and care to it. I think the developers that designed this thing are actually, they are, have a lot of passion in, into it. So you can tell by just like, you know, hold it in your hand, running the device. It just works. I never had any problems with it either. It just ran games pretty well. Like I actually so far had a very, I'm very having a good experience with the Steam Deck and I quite like it. Anyways, I'm gonna cut this video short or cut it off because I don't want to make it too long. But anyway, that, that's my thought on KDE6. I do like it. I think they're doing a lot of good stuff with it. But um, I might go back to KDE in the future. I always do this. I always go back to GNOME because GNOME is very stable. And I like something stable. I don't really care how the desktop looks like. I, I do care about how the desktop looks like. But I prefer having something very stable compared to something being up there. I think KDE is not really too stable, especially with NVIDIA G GPUs. But it's also not just NVIDIA. It's kind of unstable with any graphic. It's just unstable in general. doesn't matter what GPU you have. It's, it's, it's just not stable. And 
a lot of inconsistent with applications as well. Um, Gnome has this problem too, but I don't know. I just, I think I just like Gnome better. I think it works a lot better. Um, overall, it's just a lot better in my opinion. <laughs> Anyways, cheers.